Tonight, we are learning new details about the death of a four-year-old in Henry County. Darian Davis died in January, but his father and a woman were just arrested Wednesday and charged with murder and neglect of a dependent. The autopsy revealed the four-year-old weighed just 25 pounds and died of dehydration, malnutrition, and neglect. CBS 4's Darius Johnson spoke with the boy's grandmother. The autopsy reveals four-year-old Darian Davis, who weighed just 25 pounds, died of dehydration, malnutrition, and neglect. This is the same mobile home park where Darian and his family lived, and this is the same place where police responded to the afternoon of January 12th when Davis was found unresponsive. Well, the police officers came to my home on January 12th and informed me that my grandson had passed away. And at that time, we didn't know anything. Renee Jackson is the maternal grandmother of four-year-old Darian Davis. She used to care for Darian and his little sister until August 2018 when her husband passed. She says her granddaughter was in and out of jail, so Darian's father, Jacob Davis, filed for custody. We noticed um, in September of eight or 19 that he, that was the last time we spoke to him to Jacob and any of them. Court documents reveal Darian was emaciated and had many cuts, abrasions, and bruises over his body when he died. Other details in the court documents are new to her, like the thermostat being set at 90 degrees the day of Darian's death, the fixed lock on the bedroom door, and the amount of feces in the trailer. We didn't even know about the laceration over Darian's eye and his eye being swollen shut. We didn't know that. His grandmother says they noticed Darian was smaller and weaker than normal. Documents say the Newcastle Pediatrics Office hadn't seen Darian since March 2019 when he was 33 pounds. The Davises did not show up for his September checkup. Jackson claims they went to officials but heard nothing. I feel like they gave Jacob all the authority because of my daughter's situation of being in jail and they thought she was a bad person. Jackson hopes this will help others look for the signs while pursuing justice in her grandson's case. I will miss him for the rest of my life. He was my first blooded grandson. And Jacob took Jacob and Michelle took him away from us. The grandmother tells me that she now has custody of Darian's little sister, who is also her granddaughter. Key and Davis are currently being held in the Newcastle jail without bond. If they are convicted of both of these felonies, they each could face up to more than 100 years in prison. That's the latest in Henry County this evening. I'm Darius Johnson.